It's recording. Okay. So a lot of you guys are making the same mistakes when you are paper mache. You're using paper that's too big and you're getting wrinkly bottles like this, which will be very hard to paint. This is what we want to avoid. This is what we're trying to achieve. A nice smooth bottle that's perfectly flat with no wrinkles. So what some of you guys are doing, you're using sheets of paper like this, which is way too large. And you need to be using much smaller pieces like this. You can see how much smaller this is than that. So if when you put the paper on, you get wrinkles, the paper is too large. If when you put the paper on, you don't get wrinkles, it's the right size. This is what some of you are doing. You just dip it in the gelatin, slap it on there, and now look at that. It's wrinkly, it's, not only is it wrinkly, but it's got lumps of gelatin beneath it. So if we push down, look at all of this goo coming out. That's way, way, way too much gelatin. It's actually wasting it. So let's not do that. Instead, you're gonna put a little gelatin in your hand. Take the paper, lay it in the gelatin, lay some more gelatin on top, and then apply it. When you put it on, you wanna press firmly so that you get the lumps out and you smooth out any wrinkles. See, perfect, no wrinkles and no lumps. I'll try it again. Put the paper on the gelatin, apply more gelatin, and press firmly. No wrinkles and no lumps. So this is what we want to do instead of using big, huge sheets of paper like this. And as I said, if when you put the paper on, it's wrinkly, that means the paper is too large.